Um, I'm actually just doing a little bit of uh, research over here. Okay. Oh. That's... That's that's not it. Oh. That's not... Can, can you cut... Okay. We, we, we can deal with that yet. So, so what is your strategy for tomorrow? Okay. Um, my strategy for tomorrow. Well, let me bring up a map quickly. Okay, so here's a map. So we're over here in Boulder, Colorado. We will blaze towards the plains of Colorado, the eastern plains of Colorado. And we're going to hang out between uh, the Bermuda Triangle of tornadoes, uh, which is uh, Fort Lupton, uh, Wiggins, and Greeley. Psh, smelly Greeley. We're going to hang out between these three places and see if we can see some uh, tornado action. I've seen um, a lot of uh, radar pictures, images in the past couple of weeks of some good action in this particular area here, maybe also out to Fort Morgan. So that's what, that's the strategy. So how do you find tornadoes? Good question. Good question. Okay, I'll tell you how some people find them. Uh, let's bring up these guys here. Um, okay, here's these guys called Discovery Channel. Um, and they use this thing called the Dow. I mean, look at it. How silly can you get? It looks like a dump truck with an ice cream cone on the back. Or is that a merry-go-round at a fairground? Anyway, that's nonsense. We don't need that. We have this. It's the iPhone. And we have the weather.com application on there. And it has a little, uh, can you get that? Can you get in there? Has a little radar map on it real time. And um, essentially what we do is we look for the red dots, which is the severe weather, and we head for the red dots, and that's where the tornadoes are. And um, that's about it. And we also have uh, another tool in our arsenal um, is the uh, weather radio. So we have our little weather radio here, and we can listen to where the severe storms and everything are happening. Come on. We go here to Colorado, and we go to uh, Mead Longmont, and if you can hear this, we're going to see these guys. They're going to tell us exactly where they are. Hello. 75. The wind was northeast at 8. Robot North voices. Robot. The wind I don't know why they speak like that. Anyway. So, so tell me more about some of, the, some of your gear. Gear. Gear, gear, gear. Okay. Um, we have a extensive... Um, extensive uh, first aid kit, first of all, very important. This is some Tramadol, and um, this is Rimadol. And as you can see, and if you can zoom in on here, these are, um, we couldn't get the real stuff, so we have the, for animal use only, horses, dogs, and um, rabbits. Um, these actually were the dogs over here. Can you get that? Um, the dogs kind of strung out on some of these pills, actually. Um, these were the dogs, and I think he's going to let us use them for our uh, little adventure tomorrow. Have a flashlight, a $2 flashlight, which we bought from Hong Kong off a website. We have some band-aids here, very important. If you get a, I don't know, some debris in your eye from the wind. Business cards, it's all about, it's not what you know, it's who you know. You've got to market, I mean, you've got to um, network. It's all about networking. And we have our, can you get this? Vuvuzela. Um, very important uh, item for the World Cup 2010 in South Africa. We're going to take it with us to use as, I don't know who that guy is. Is that uh, Oliver Tambo, Nelson Mandela, somebody there? Um, maybe it's Zuma, one of those guys. Uh, very important item to kind of clear the road um, of traffic when we're whizzing down there trying to get to these storms. Storm chasing vehicle. Okay, so let's back up here. What do some people use? Okay, so these guys here, um, the TIV-1 or something, there's another one, a TIV-2, I mean, I don't know. I mean, look at these things. That looks like a, a tank with wheels. I mean, I can't, just, that doesn't look cool. Look at that, it looks like a submarine with a, a pair of uh, rabbit ears on it. I mean, that's, that's, that's not our style. So what vehicle did you choose? Well, we were going to choose a, we had a choice basically between two cars, um, a 2004 uh, Outback Subaru, 
Um, but we couldn't get hold of that because Dan wouldn't. Dan didn't want to get it. His paintwork beat up, scratched. So we actually ended up with my car, which is a 1999 Audi A8. I mean, look at the lines on that thing. We chose it because, first of all, well, it's the only car we could actually use other than bicycles or on foot. Secondly, um, it's just very sleek, aerodynamical, zero to 60 time, about 6.9 seconds, the same as a Subaru WRX. Probably do about 140 miles per hour in you know no time at all. Um, and it has a nice trunk for storing our gear. Let's go. What about the CB radio? What are you looking at? What am I looking at? I'm looking at those clouds over there. 75 degrees out, County Road 12. And uh, well, let's get a bit of a let's get a bit of a how's this morning report. Altitude two inches in diameter, thunderstorm wind gusts to 70 miles per hour, and dangerous lightning are possible in these areas. Remember, a tornado watch means conditions are favorable for tornadoes. And yeah, remember that. Thunderstorms have been close to the wash area. Persons in these areas should be on the lookout for threatening weather conditions. Threatening weather. Dog is sitting in the back. Dog's kind of fed up. He's like, what do I do? What do I do in all this tornado chasing? Mm. You hold on for dear life. And here we got Dan. He's kind of an ugly bugger. It's the best we can do right now until we get on levels. But nose like a pointy bird. Hey. And he's uh, he's going a little bit. A little bit fill on the old top there. Right? Hey. All right, we're looking at the mobile radar on weather.com's iPhone application. And if you can see that over there, we are... We're somewhere over there where my thumb is. I don't know how far you can actually see on this thing without getting out of focus, but somewhere over there. So we're hoping to engage, but if you look up there, we don't see, I don't really see jack shite, apart from some rain clouds. Where are we, Dan? Really? Uh, and where's Green? What the hell? Greeley's in north central Colorado. Central. Colorado Plains, technically Northeastern Colorado. Colorado. Central Colorado is the mountains. Ding bang. We're over here in Greeley. We're over here. And we're thinking if we wait maybe for half an hour, go and grab some more uh, Greeley coffee, Starbucks coffee. Uh, we may be able to... Oh, Tabo's gonna get a duck. Um, whoops, where's my white balance? We were in a very nice little, uh, kind of park-like little park uh, in Greeley, waiting out the weather. So we're looking at the latest um, radar map over here, and we seem to have some more uh, and get the light right. We seem to have some more action going on, but it's in the lower left of the screen, which is uh, the lower left is Lafayette. It's a huge thing over Lafayette and Broomfield. Um, but if we look out of the Starbucks window here, point up to the sky, Dan. Yeah. If you look over there, we have some ominous gray clouds that hopefully going to bring us some joy a bit later on.